The Memphis summer is heating up, and so is Memphis 901 FC. Unbeaten in its last seven matches, they won three straight, and looking to add to that total tonight against Miami FC, USL Championship Soccer is next. and welcome to a blistering hot evening in Memphis, Tennessee. USL Championship Soccer is on the air. My name is Peter Edmiston, joined by CBU men's head coach Enda Crayon. And it's a very interesting night, Enda, here as Memphis 901 FC takes on Miami FC. One of the hottest teams in the league all of a sudden, 901 FC playing great. Yeah, 901, obviously seven games un unbeaten. Looking to continue that form tonight against uh, a Miami team that'll be eager to get a result after not having won um, in, in the three-point margin in the last three games. It's been a month since Miami had a victory. It's been two weeks since Memphis 901 FC has been on the pitch. And if Miami's going to get a win, it's going to come from a former 901 FC player, someone known around here very well, Kyle Murphy. Yeah, Kyle Murphy, the big man, leads the line really well, as he did when he was in Memphis. Obviously, uh, really strong, powerful runner as well. Big target man, can put the ball in the net from different angles. Real handful of a player uh, that the back four are going to have to deal with tonight. And if they're going to get a result, Miami, they need a big match from Murphy tonight. Murphy scoring just three goals this season. Ten last year, had 20 in his final year in Memphis. But he is always a threat and a true number nine up front. Very much a a target man for sure on the other side of the pitch the maestro in the middle a young man you know very very well and Aaron Malloy what a great passer and what a great center just to have kind of leading things from behind yeah you see him here dead balls he's, he's so central to the to the 901 team everything he touches uh, leads to chances he's he's brilliant on the ball great for dead balls lovely passer of the football and he's just as you said Pete he's the maestro in the middle of the park and if 901 are going to continue there they're winning streak. Aaron Malloy is massive for them tonight. One of the best chance creators in the league. Third in that mark, Rodrigo da Costa, a brand new player. We'll talk about him and the starting lineup when we come back. It's Memphis 901 FC taking on Miami FC and it's next. Consumer investigator Andy Wise here. I'm talking with longtime customers about why they love the shot nurse. What do you love about the shot nurse? Because of my work, I have to get a lot of vaccines for travel, and the shot nurse always has everything I need. And I don't need an appointment. I love it. For efficient wellness and immunization services, the shot nurse is your wise choice. Solutions you need with the personal touch. The shot nurse. At Junk Luggers, our commitment to donating and recycling is a founding principle. We're a locally owned business striving to keep all reusable items out of landfills by 2025. While quality customer service, respectful team members, and competitive pricing are all industry standards, we stand out by donating and recycling whenever possible. People ask, why Bad Boy? It's simple. Every Bad Boy mower and every Bad Boy tractor are born from steel and built tough to the same standards that have made the Bad Boy brand legendary. Not only for toughness, but for power, for strength, for performance, quality, and comfort. These are the whys. You are the how. Start your legend, Bad Boy. At First South Financial, whether you're buying your first home or refinancing your current home, we will always find the most efficient home financing solution for your needs. First South Financial is a full-service mortgage lender offering VA, FHA, conventional, jumbo, and adjustable rate mortgage loans. We even offer loans with no points, fees, or closing costs. Let our lending experts help you find the loan that's just right for you. Visit FirstSouth.com today. And there's the classic guitar swell. There we go. The classic guitar smash. 
Took a couple tries, but we got that thing taken care of. And now tonight, it is a big, big soccer match indeed. Peter Edmiston into Crayon with you. Miami FC starting lineup. And, of course, Kyle Murphy up top. One change from last week for Miami. Christian Sorto in as one of their forwards. And Adrian Zendejas, a veteran between the sticks. Meanwhile, for Memphis, 901 FC. Though Rodrigo da Costa was traded for uh, just a few days ago, he is not in the starting lineup tonight. As a matter of fact, it will be a big lineup, though, with Laurent Kissiadou, Knight Pickering, uh, Jeremy Kelly, and, of course, Aaron Malloy, we mentioned, among others. There is Anthony Poulos, the Miami FC head coach, as we present our coaches by XMC. And, of course, on the other side of the pitch, it will be Stephen Glass, who's 901 FC and has started to come into form of late. Three straight wins in the league. Now, there was that uh, U.S. Open Cup loss to Birmingham in the mix, but uh, seven unbeaten in the league as well. And kickoff underway. What do you expect to see from the beginning tonight? Yeah, I mean, I think Memphis have been... Uh you know, looking really good the last couple of games. They'll be hoping for a really good start. I think the games that they've had really good starts, they, you know, they, they've obviously done really well in. So they'll be hoping not to concede early and get the first uh, chance and goal tonight. Ball flying around and then booted. Graham Smith just puts that one up there with a little backspin and eventually will go out of play. Uh, Adrian Zendejas will take the goal kick for a Miami FC. In fact, no, it'll be a first Celtic crossing corner as Zendejas didn't realize that that ball had taken a deflection and instead it will be a cheap corner taken by one of the set piece masters in the league Aaron Malloy his service and uh, is typically right on the number yeah I mean you know what you're going to get with them you can attack these balls any little flick on and, and 901 going to have a chance and there we great go great ball great goal Jeremy Kelly on the volley what a finish 1-0, just a minute into the game. What a strike. That's training ground. It looked like training ground. Well, that one came directly from the training ground for sure. Aaron Malloy lofts it into the box right on the edge. And Jeremy Kelly softly volleys it into the back of the net. Didn't even really have to swing too hard at it because of the, the weight of the cross was perfect. What a finish. Jeremy Kelly, 1-0, 901 FC. We barely got started. Yeah, I mean, what a cross. Lovely little ball. You know what you're going to get with Malloy. Quality delivery. Oof. And Jeremy Kelly just absolutely pings it in the bottom corner. Brilliant technique. Brilliant ball. What a start for 901 FC. Well, you couldn't have asked for anything better than that if you are Stephen Glass. And if you were wondering how things would start for 901 FC after a two-week hiatus, they seem just fine. They started off... Uh, Red hot, as a matter of fact, just like the weather here in Memphis. So Miami FC, whatever game plan they had coming in, you have to tear that baby up because you're already a goal down just a minute into the match. Really can't get over how well that ball was placed and finished. But very quickly, Miami trying to respond. Cross into the box, swept away Jelani Peters. Ball straight up into the air, and Drew Romig a little uh, hesitant on the catch, but does end up with it. Bit of a harrowing moment here and there. Taken care of, though, from Romig at the back. Yeah, he's done well, actually. That ball was spinning high into the air. Missed clearance from Jelani Peters. And Drew Romig's done really well to deal with that. Romig plays it up, looking for Knight Pickering. Ball is headed away back to Aaron Malloy. And it's interesting how that was a cheap corner, really. I mean, yeah. Zendejas could have kicked that ball out of play, could have done something else with it, didn't realize what had happened. Ends up being a cheaply given away corner but with Malloy every corner is potential danger yeah his deliveries are just so on point like I said before he took the corner you know you, you know what you're going to get you know what you're going to be able to attack Laurent Kissiadou plenty of space balls deflected danger and swept away at the back post by Aiden Stanley and it had to be perfect lurking there at the back post Dylan Borchek just gets a touch to that, and it's 2-0 within the first three minutes. It's going to be another Celtic crossing corner for 901 FC. But that was a deflected centering pass. Borchek right there, and Stanley 
able to just get in front. But Miami FC wobbling early in this match. Yeah, they just don't look comfortable. Just Malloy, that right-footed corner again, good position, headed away and out of play briefly. And now another crack at heading it away. Paco Craig got the first header to it. Ryan Telfer with the second, and now ball goes all the way back to Romick to recycle possession. What a start to the match for 901 FC and Steven Glass's side that has continued to be at or near the top of the charts in so many offensive metrics in the USL Championship continues to show you why. And there, Knight Pickering with a bit of footwork gets that ball away, taken down Lapa, early yellow card. And I know that Akinyode won't like that one bit, but he was taken down from behind. And our referee, Ekaterina Koroleva, hands out that yellow. Lapa getting ahead, and you see that kind of did that wrong-footed tackle too from Akinyode. Yeah, usually the right foot will come around to try and nip the ball away, but he's gone with the left foot, which he had no chance of getting the football. So. Um, I have no idea what he what he was doing there. And I don't know why. If you tackle with the right, you have a, it was just a strange decision to tackle with that left yeah, foot. Yeah, absolutely. In that situation. That being said, another dangerous set piece for Aaron Malloy in 901 FC. Although Kisiadu lurking there to potentially provide an in swinger if they want to use that left footed option. Lapa and Borchek slightly ahead of the back line. They're going to get played onside when that back line starts to move. Into the sixth minute, already 1-0, and it's been all 9-on-1 FC. It'll be Malloy, and Malloy goes for the goal, a little sneaky one. Didn't get good contact on it, and Zendejas is able to gather. Yeah, sneaky, sneaky one, but you've seen them come off and, and you know, around if you the got world a little better contact things, yeah. with it, you know, If you got yeah, a little better yeah. contact with it, that might have had a chance. Unfortunately, did not hit it all that well. Buckmaster nicely handled at the back. Vom Stieg with Smith, and it looks like Jelani Peters playing out left yeah, at the is. moment. Not known as a fullback end up, but kind of playing in that position tonight. Yeah, I would imagine he's not going to bomb forward too much. No. Um, and he's probably going to sit in and, you know, let... let um, Buckmaster bomb on, and as they say, so. Well, you would imagine, and this this is a, uh, a formation that you see sometimes, a little bit of a what they call an asymmetrical formation, where yeah. you know Peters might play back, almost slide to a back three, and let Buckmaster get a little yeah, further that's, forward. That's what I expect. I mean, saying that, you know, maybe well, maybe Jelani can. You he's know, he's fairly far forward so far. We will see. There is Jelani Peters. Quick pass with the right to Lapa. Recycles it back to Smith, to Buckmaster. Buckmaster to Malloy. Good passing sequence from 901 FC and an excellent ball to Malloy. Plenty of space for Kisyadu. Kisyadu going to take advantage of that. Another opportunity. Great save. Zendejas. Jeremy Kelly looking to double his account quickly. And Miami all over the place defensively. Jeremy Kelly, all the space in the world. Great left-handed save from Zendejas. Absolutely brilliant from Kissy to you again. Great little ball. Kelly thought he had two. Zendejas, what a save. And man, Miami just don't look like they've gotten off the bus. Corner taken quickly. Kissy to looking wide. A nice flick back into the box, headed away, but not completely out of danger. Jelani Peters is able to get that ball back to the center back pairing. Jeremy Kelly will restart. Malloy. Looking for the pass. No pressure from Miami at all defensively. You see these balls come out wide and a real miscommunication from Miami as to who's going to pick up who. Ball clipped in. Great first touch from Kisyadu, but cannot bring it under control. Did the hard part, made it look easy, and then did the easy part and made it look a little harder. And there's a foul near midfield, and finally, a little bit of the pressure taken off of Miami FC, but it has been all 9-0-1 FC early in this matchup. Yeah, I mean, Bruno Lapa coming to the left, Kissidou going to the right, Miami are all over the place, sixes and sevens, not sure what's going on, and it's just causing absolute mayhem for them. And 9-0-1, eight minutes in, 
I mean, could be three, four nil up. Well, and you're seeing, and now uh, referee Katarina Koroleva wants a, a retake here. It'll be Callum Chapman Page asked to go back a little bit before he takes that ball and asked to go back even further and says, all right, fine, I'll just kick it back to Zendejas. Is that good enough for you? <laughs> Knight Pickering with some nice pressure there. Looking over the top, Jelani Peters in good position. Clears it off of Miami's Curtis Thorne and for a goal kick, good piece of defending from Jelani Peters. And you're seeing Miami, they do have, we mentioned Christian Sorto, number 99 in. He's a replacement for Michael Salazar in their starting lineup. And it looks as though Sorto, in, when they're going back and defending, he's having some real difficult time communicating with Thorne about who's going to take which runner and a good job by 901 FC to really confuse them as far as who's going to run forward and make that nice towering header from Jelani Peters. No one had made the run in behind. It'll go to Zendejas. Yeah, the movement from the front four of 901 has been fantastic to start. Like we said, to just, you know, they're moving the ball side to side. Malloy's able to pick passes wide, isolate the fullback, and, and give Casey Dewar a lap at 1v1s. And if they can keep doing that, you're going to see your late runs in the box from Jeremy Kelly a lot. And, and there's going to be more chances there. So Miami, like we said, you know, on their back three is a bit of a struggle bus at the moment. So there's a lot for um, Anthony Pulis to figure out. Yeah, Anthony Pulis, son of legendary English manager Tony Pulis, is the manager. And that's some good goalkeeping from Drew Romig. Yeah, he's done well there. Coming all the way out, claiming it. Good, confident goalkeeping. And now, again, the ball played out and just absolutely no pressure from Miami whatsoever. 901 FC now facing a bit of token pressure from Murphy and Sorto, among others. But, again, nothing to really worry them too much. Now, finally, pressure applied and ball's given away from Borchek. But given right back to 901 FC, playing into the middle, looking for Lapa. Lapa header on for Pickering. Pickering didn't quite read that. That was a good, smart play from Lapa. Slightly ahead of Pickering. Miami just needs a little spell of possession probably for 901. They might be upset to only be up by Golden Hill after 11 minutes as absolutely. dominant as they've been. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they've had two, three, four chances to score goals already tonight. And, you know, if it's anything to go by, I mean, we could be in for a – a good night but it's early yet and you know like you said Miami do need to get their foot on the ball and try to get you know get some passes connected and we'll see how what they can build but so far it's just 901 all day ball passing back Romig looking very confident with that ball at his feet pass looking up for Lapa a little too far ahead a good bit of fancy footwork from Akinyode unfortunately doesn't lead to much from Miami's perspective That'll look good on the highlight reel. Ball played up to Jelani Peters. Heads it on. Looking for Kisyadu. Putting a little pressure on Chapman Page. And again, Miami looking a little shaky with the ball. Ka Callum Chapman Page plays it all the way down the line, and that's going to end up being offside. Murphy flagged offside there. 13 minutes into the match. Started off with a bang. What a goal from Jeremy Kelly off of a picture-perfect corner from Aaron Malloy. That's going to be a contender for goal of the week in the USL Championship. You won't see one struck much sweeter than that. And since then, hasn't been much respite for Miami. So far, it's been all 901 FC as they've continued their good form. Now, Akinyode dribbling his way through, but ultimately can't get too far. Ball played back. Paco Craig, the center back in the back three, plays that ball. Miami now playing into the channels, looking dangerous. Cross back, plenty of space. Great save, Romick headed back into a dangerous spot. Sorto with a great right-footed strike, and Romick handled it well. Fantastic First test save. from Romig, and he passes with flying colors. 
Ball played into the channel again, and that looked like it went out of play. Yeah, it's out of play. Yeah, they're going to say it is out of play. Looked like that went out of play. What a terrific save from Sorto. Christian Sorto, nice drop pass here, Enda. Yeah, that's a fantastic save because you can see he's using the 901 defender to kind of block roaming and try to bend it in around him. So look at there, we see it, and what a save. Yeah, he didn't see it until late. Yeah. Did not see it until late. So really good reaction save from Drew Romig. First signs of Miami there starting to get into the match. That run down that channel was successful. Outside left, something 901 FC is going to have to kind of keep an eye on as they push forward. Sometimes it's always that play of when you, you push forward with your fullbacks, you do leave a little space in behind. Yeah. How much do you want to you know push that pressure, make it happen? <clears throat> something to think about for sure. A little flick from Borchek taken away and now Miami with the ball gaining a slight bit more control in this match although again long long way from where they want to be Lapa nearly with a takeaway off that pressure and again Buckmaster pressuring forcing another turnover from Miami Miami just no rhythm to their play was the Miami sound machine that said the rhythm was going to get you. And, uh, but uh, <laughs> there is no rhythm coming there's from this not, Miami machine There's not tonight. much coming from this machine, that's for sure. Look at the Laurent Kissiadu turns the Jets on and then one dribble too many, although he almost got it back. One heavy touch took him out of contention, but he had Knight Pickering very oh. interested in what he was going to do. Aaron Malloy just was caught late or something. Yep. Yeah, Malloy is having a conversation with our official. Looks like he's gonna be okay, but he is struggling a bit. Throw in by Thorne. Headed right back to Thorne, and he'll try it again. Ball kept in play nicely. Jeremy Kelly, Laurent, kiss you do. Peters flicks it up onto Knight Pickering. Looking for Pickering. Youngster who's really come on. Two goals and an assist in his early return. Has looked very good since starting up front. That shot deflected, and it will be a corner for Miami FC. Bit of a hopeful shot, but the deflection will get them something out of it. Corner for Miami. Yeah, great running by the Telfer. First one of the match, yep. Telfer. Great block. Yep, Buckmaster, where he needed to be. Now this corner, got a left footer and a right footer standing over it. Looks like it's going to be right footer. I think that's Thorne taking it. Floated in, punched away from Romig, and he got a good punch to it. Maybe could have caught that one, but definitely got enough of a punch to it to get it out of danger. And another punch, this one going right to 901 FC. Bruno Lapa able to control it. Crossfield ball played all the way to Dylan Borchek. Nice first touch to settle it. Back to Kisiadu, who's on the other side, where he normally is on the left. He is out on the right, defending that corner. 901 FC is going to pass it around a bit to let everybody get back into their positions. Lapa to Kelly. Kelly swings it out to Graham Smith. Back to Malloy to Smith. To Jeremy Kelly now. Kelly with some dribbling, tries to slide it through to Kisiadu. The ball's gonna go out of play. It'll be a throw into 901 FC taken quickly by Dylan Borchek. Buckmaster into the center. Back to Malloy, and Malloy with a lot of time to pick his passes tonight. That's a recipe for danger for Miami. And again, look at that, spraying it all over the field to Buckmaster. Buckmaster inside, 
to Kelly. Back to Malloy, who slides it out far wide. Jelani Peters touches it to Lapa. Kiss you do. Back to Lapa. Lapa looking for a handball. None given. Maintain control. 901 FC. Back to Jeremy Kelly. Kelly takes some touches, slides it in. Good first touch from Kisiadu. Looking, right foot strike, what a save. Zendejas, full extension after a fabulous 20 or 30 pass move. Kisiadu with a wonderful turn and strike with a right foot. What a save from Zendejas, another Celtic crossing corner. Yeah, brilliant from Kiss You Do. Again, the trouble that Bruno Lapp is causing them, drifting out to the wide area, and you just don't know where Lauren Kiss You Do is going to end up. And they seem to find him a lot. And he's, I mean, absolutely brilliant strike, bent for the top corner, and a great save. And here we have Aaron Malloy again. Malloy again. Corner right onto the penalty spot. Lapa gets it. Ooh, wanted a handball. Hand ball, he's going to yeah. get a handball. That's a penalty. Penalty to 901 FC and a yellow card to Callum Chapman Page. It looked it looked like a handball from our perspective here in the booth. We'll take a look at the replay to be sure, but there's no VAR here. This is a penalty. And it'll be taken by Malloy. Hara Malloy wanted the penalty. Yeah, he grabbed that ball right away. He, he did. He missed one this season, but that just says a lot about the man. He's He's willing to step up again. and Well, and he missed a, a critical one in the playoffs last year as well. But I think he wants to put all that behind him. Yeah, and, it's uh, just it's the way you do it. it. Yeah, the only way to do it is to go again. And that's what football is. So, again, Memphis just causing Miami absolute mayhem. It's been brilliant to watch. And now Chapman Page is hey. scrapping with Laurent Kissiadou. Got to be very careful. He's already on a yellow card. This is a lot of foolishness from yeah. Callum Chapman Page. Obviously very frustrated with how things have gone thus far in the match. Yeah, Miami just. But really and truly, Katarina Koroleva, the referees, trying to discuss this with both men. But yeah. now it's just taking Malloy a little bit longer, a little more to think about. Now, finally, I believe we're ready. Malloy into the net. 2 0. Brilliant. Zendejas got a foot to it, but not enough. Too much pace on it. Just bashed it yeah. right down the middle. Listen, it's in the net. That's all Aaron Malloy cares about, Memphis 901 care about. And he's had a little word with Bruno Lapa, who wanted the penalty. And I'm sure those two will just keep cracking at it tonight. But brilliant from Malloy. Not, well, the, not his best strike of a dead ball, but ball's in the net. Yeah, he goes right down the middle. Zendejas dove to his left, got a foot to it, but not enough. And, you know, sometimes the simplest way to take a penalty is the best. Just go right down the yeah, middle. Yeah, he, he knew he was going to move. and You know, that is the uh, statistically the most successful penalties are right down the middle because the keeper pretty much has to move. And you like to see that from Lapa. Yeah, brilliant from the two boys, right? And Malloy talking about it because, I, you know, I know Lapa did want that. And uh, you can't blame him for that. But Malloy trying to get some of the... Uh, you know, some of the, the, the bad go. mojo off the, the penalties. That'll there'll, help. There'll be some free kicks on the edge of the box tonight. I'm sure Lap will be calling him off them. <laughs> no question about it. But Malloy with that goal. And all of a sudden now it is 2-0 and deservedly so. Yeah. Again, if you look at what, what has happened so far in this match, it has been all 901 FC. They deserve a 2-0 lead based on what we have seen so far. Now the question is going to be, can Miami keep their head? Because you see already Chapman Page looks a little iffy out there. Now let's take a look. If we get a chance to replay, here's that handball replay. And again, there's Chapman Page. It hits him yeah. in the inside. The problem for him is that the arm is out. It's out, yeah. It's, you know, he, his arm was in an unnatural position. That's what the officials are looking for. Yep. So she was right there as well. I mean, she yeah. was. There was no hesitation. It was straight pointed to the spot. So, well, and and again, 
that ball sort of hit the inside of the arm. Had his arm been, had his arm been further down, we got another look at this. It might have bounced Our as crack well. Our replay and staff his... is scouring to get get us a, a better look to see. <laughs> when we get an opportunity, we'll we'll show you. Yeah, she, so like you I see said, right here. here we go. So that ball, yeah. So yeah, it, it did hit the his ball's hand there. out. It hits his, yeah. It hits the left yeah. arm, and the left hand specifically. She was really sure. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so far tonight she's been really efficient on her calls and speaking to players. And, you know, it's what you want to see in a, in a yeah. big match like this. More often than not, when that happens, it's it's there's Absolutely. a reason for it, for sure. Yeah, yeah. The long ball played, and uh, Buckmaster does what he needs to to steer the ball out of play. Miami looking for something to grasp onto right now in this match. It has been all 901 FC to this point in the contest. And again, right there, that kind of sums it up for yeah, Miami. Just, <laughs> yeah. just, they're just, they've just have not arrived at, at, at AutoZone Park tonight. No, they're still on the bus somewhere <laughs> outside the stadium, I think. It, it has been a tough yeah. night to, to say the least. But a lot of football to be played yet, so I'm sure Pulis will be telling them keep going. And, and again, that ball goes right into the path of Dylan Borchek. Borchek trying to use his pace to get around two defenders. Can't quite do it. Akinyode, a couple passes played. Yeah, he's Wee. looking for that one, but they need a little something to hang on to there. Telfer went down awfully easily, but Got that free kick. He's been one of the bright sparks, the only bright spark maybe from Miami Telfer. He looks he looks dangerous when he when he gets it. He wants the ball. He wants to and run there at it people. Is Murphy playing it out wide. There is Telfer. Good cross in, and it is dealt with. Peters got a foot to it. Callum Chapman Page trying to head it back into danger, but now a transition opportunity for 901 FC. Borchek running hard. Can he get to the ball first? He cannot, as it was Moises Hernandez, yeah, Hernandez just able to beat him, but it wasn't by much. That through ball a little bit ahead now. Good work from Kelly up front, poking the ball away and forcing a throw. Now we've got... 901 FC player down. It looks like Bruno Lapa. We'll take a look and see yeah. how serious this is. Looks like he's going to be okay. Because he got some uh, help from the trainer, though, he will have to leave the pitch before he can come back on. But it looks like he's going to be okay. It's a very hot night. One of the first we've seen, maybe the first this year, now that I think about it, at 901 FC and in AutoZone Park, first of a few, where you're going you're gonna to see 90-plus degree temperatures at kickoff. And even though it gets in the night, it's still very humid. And for players, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, this is not an easy sport to play in the heat. No, and, and the bench will be super key tonight for both squads. I mean, obviously Miami's used to the heat as well, but... Again, this heat, you know, it's going to take it out of you. And the benches, like I said, was going to be massive tonight. Substitution is going to be key for both managers. And uh, I, I would say that they'll both go deep into their benches tonight. Very strong bench for a 901 FC, including the, the newcomer, Rodrigo da Costa. Tackle made and a good one. Quickly to Murphy, but Murphy, Vom Stieg steps in with a good tackle of his own. Ball passed up to Lapa. Lapa, terrific job of hanging on. Draws a foul. And again, got to be careful. That is Chapman Page. He's already on a yellow. Yeah. And if he weren't on a yellow, now he's going to get a he's gonna get the severe talking. talking to. Yeah, he he's <laughs> one more and she's going to have no choice, I think. Well, no, actually, you know what? I got that wrong. That's Aiden Stanley, so he's good. All right, well, Chapman Page is okay. Yeah. But he might want to talk to Chapman Page as well, just to be sure. Yeah, well, he's got the talking because one more but, and he's going in the yeah, book, Yeah, he's going to sure. go in the book. That was a pretty nasty one. Lapa did a good job of holding that ball up to draw the contact. Malloy turning a rare missed pass 
Goes to Chapman Page. Plays it back to Thorne. Now Miami, into the, they go back an awful lot. And I know they're, they're trying to play it into the channels behind the fullbacks as Romig is thrust into action there. But there's just no fluidity because they're playing it, they're constantly playing it back to then try to go with that long ball. And there's just yeah, not a lot of oomph in their attack right now. Yeah, they're just not able to get wing backs on high up the pitch on the ball. It's a 901 are dropping in and, and really um, just stopping them from playing short as well. So it's a difficult, um, it's difficult for Miami. Beautiful, beautiful one touch soccer. 901 FC and oh, oh Laurent Kissiadou took a tough yeah. touch there as he was thinking about trying to get it into the box. Had two 901 FC players waiting for him if he could have just gotten that thing in the box. Yeah, it's 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 tough for for. Um, for the boys at Miami, the back three. Obviously, they're playing four across the middle and then three high as well. So, you know, 9-1 are over, over um, you know, have three in the middle as well. So it's difficult for them to play central. So their really options are to go wide. And if, if Memphis are cutting off the passes into wing backs and, and the wingers high, then that, that's the only option for them to do is go long. So difficult start for Miami. And they're really going to have to figure out how they can break down this um, Memphis team. It's been a team that uh, 901 FC has not necessarily played well against historically. In the last four matchups, they did draw earlier this season in Miami, but prior to that, three straight losses. So a team that has had a little bit of a, uh, an advantage over 901 FC, but tonight it is all 901 FC. Kisiadu trying to keep that in and just couldn't quite do it. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough night as well, going back to the heat, uh, Pete. You know, those wing backs have to drop in to make a five, get high to make uh, to an offensive threat. So, you know, in this heat, even though it's um, they're used to it in Miami, it's it's going to be a tough night for them. Ball contested there, and Sorto comes away with it briefly. Poked away by 901 FC. Jelani Peters. Good footwork from the big man. He's 6'5", yeah, 215, but he's got some nice footwork there. And now Malloy into space. Gets his head up, looking for that pass. Borchek comes back for the ball, and now Malloy gets it again, plays it back. Miami pushing up defensively a little bit. That space in behind. 901 FC going to look for that through ball in if they can. Kelly. Plays it up, but no hurry for 901 FC with a two-goal lead early on in this match. No need to rush things. Malloy to lop up. And this is the advantage of the three in the middle. It's forcing Kyle Murphy to drop down. And 901 just have can control the play and wait for that switch or wait for that killer pass. And there goes that ball out wide. And again, kiss you do all kinds of space. Step over, flicks it back into the path of Kelly. Back to kiss you do. Malloy gets those hips turned, gets it out to Buckmaster. Buckmaster back to Malloy. 901 FC making Miami work. And yeah. now again, Kiss You Do out wide, has space. That ball handball again, that again. looked like a handball again, and it was another penalty. Another handball. I bet Lapa takes this penalty. What do you mean? Unbelievable. <laughs> Incredible turn I'll, of events. I'll have to see that again because it looked like the arm was down to the side, it, but I could be wrong. Callum On, Chapman Page is unbelievable. <laughs> discussing this. A lot of Miami players discussing this with <laughs> Ekaterina Koroleva. <laughs> Let's take a look again. So here's a very slow-mo look at it. You see, hard to tell from that angle because we're sort of we're sort of blocked out. This might be a little bit of a better look here. Arm is definitely way out. Oh, there it's going to be. Ew, the Dennis Dennis Dawuna is the one who's going to be called for it. The ball, his hand, his arm is very tight to his body. That might be a harsh call there. Because his arm is, is in it's, a natural position. Yeah, I think that's a harsh call. I think it's harsh. Yeah, I, I, I think that's a I harsh do, call. But, 
Bruno Lapa won't care. To make it 3-0. Into the back of the net. 3-0. There was no doubt Lapa was taking that one, Pete. Lapa gets his penalty and... I'm guessing Malloy didn't think it would be just 10 minutes later that he'd have a chance to share with him, but it's that kind of night for 901 FC. Up 3-0, 35 minutes into the match. Lapa goes left, and uh, great Zendejas, no chance whatsoever. Yeah, great penalty from Bruno Lapa. Very just confident. Yeah, very confident. And again, kind of gave him the eyes. So if you watch Zendejas here... He goes early, yeah. So yeah. He, he made that penalty for Lapa, really. I mean, yeah. he goes early. Too easy, really, there. But again, brilliant from 901. We talk about whether the penalty is or not, but they're getting into these positions and they're putting dangerous balls in the box. They're isolating people 101. And it, it's inevitably going to come plenty of chances like this. So brilliant well, from 901 so far tonight. Ooh, and again, it's getting a little chippy out there now. Got to yeah. be very careful. <laughs> Stanley was up there. He's already been cautioned, not officially, but he's been yeah. lectured by the referee. He'll get a caution, an official one soon, if he's not careful. I'm actually shocked he's not going in the book for that. Yeah. And I think that's what Aaron Malloy is saying to the, to the referee. Yeah. Like, how can he have a late challenge and, and not get in the book? Well, again, Miami, you, you, the discipline is going to be the key here because, you know, they are taking a bit of a beating. Now, you know, but we've seen that. It's interesting in this league, and uh, you never quite know because, you know, Charleston has been one of the best teams in the league, but they've lost. They lost last night 4-0 yep. at home to Indy, have lost 7-0 to San Antonio early. You know, you it, it's it's a, it, this league has yeah, gotten really better and balanced, and yeah, there's no very, easy very time out. There's no easy time out there. No, it's a very good league now, and anybody can beat anyone, and you've got to be on your game every night. and. Like we said, you've got to have the squads and you can't, you can't have a couple of injuries or, or you'll be in trouble. Again, down this right touch line. Good touch. Slid in. I think that's a that's going to be Brilliant. a yeah, great good tackle. tackle. Yeah, Borchek looks up. But no, that was a good tackle right there. I can't help but notice that all of Miami's subs are already out warming up. And oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. sure. That tells you everything you need yeah. to know about, about the start. Absolutely. Anthony Pulis might go to the bench. Might get the sub before before halftime here. And Memphis just forcing them back again. The center midfield players for for um, Miami just can't turn. Here they are. And there's a turn and a lofted pass out into the box. An opportunity, but Peters does a good job. Stabs at it. Graham Smith, nice touch from Malloy, out to Borchek and Borchek. Slid in Moises Hernandez, and that's going to end up being a throw. It's Hernandez, good, good effort there. Borchek got the worst of that little sliding intervention. Akinyode turns, plays it back to Paco Craig. Again, we see little tiny signs of Miami trying to do stuff. Good run from Sordo. Here's an opportunity. And that ball is off the crossbar and out of play. Throw in to 901 FC. It hit the woodwork. Dangerous ball. Curtis Thorne had all kinds of room with that shot and cracked it off the woodwork. Yeah, it's actually. Boom. Yeah, just off the side of the post. but Off the post. Encouraging signs from Miami. Good little passing from 901 FC now getting the ball into that space. Playing it forward, looking for the run of Borchek, and again, turning those jets on, forcing Hernandez, and now Hernandez. Hernandez has done a nice job, 1v1 against Borchek. A couple times now, Borchek is pretty swift. Yeah, he's, he's quick. He's hung in there with him. Draws the foul that time. 3-0 with just about seven minutes or so to play in this first half, a half that has been completely dominated by 901 FC. Yeah, domination. Um, no other word really for it. I mean, we see little snippets of Miami trying to get into it. We see that chance off the post where they do get their wing back high and, and 901 switched off, I think, and let them have that space. So I'm but sure that'll be addressed at halftime. Kiss you do with the step overs, trying to get past Thorne now. 
cuts inside. Malloy, plenty of space out wide to Buckmaster. First touch to kiss you. That's a foul. That's a foul. Oh, oh wow. Okay. All right. <clears throat> and now Buckmaster uh, no. going to go into the book. That's no, it's to Malloy. That's soft. I think it's Buckmaster who ended up yeah, it is, getting I think. it, but Malloy was the one who was having the conversation. Yeah, he's he's having a word because of um, Stanley with the two fouls consistent as well on him. Well, and you see right here, oh, that's, that's very clearly that's, a foul. I mean, that's blatant. And Telfer just pushes him over. Kiss you do is right to wonder what <laughs> happened. <laughs> yeah. And then that penalty and the now again, I, you know, maybe there's some kind of rule against getting too mad at an official that's given you two penalties in the first half. You kind of maybe you have to <laughs> go a little easier on her, but. Um, no, nah, I think that was that was a stone cold foul for sure. That was not called, and now another foul given. Yeah. Buckmaster yeah. into the book. We the, get a confirmation there. It is, yeah. The problem is where nine one will will have words is they don't want a right fullback on a yellow, you know, and then if the, he gets isolated and then she has to give him a, a, a red, and you know that could throw the game wide open. So yeah. you can see why Malloy is angry with that. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't make a lot of sense. I'll be honest. That, that card. I think. Yeah. I think overall, she's been. She's been good. She's been but, good. Yeah. But this is just not really. Um, hasn't been consistent in the last five minutes or so. Curtis Thorne. And it'll be the left footer, taking that header missed, back into dangerous spot, and that ball deflected, and it'll be out for a corner. Sorto ends up with it. That was a. Aiden Stanley free kick that caused a lot of problems missed header deflected shot in another corner for Miami late in this half as they're clinging to some hope trying to find something to take into halftime in what has otherwise been a pretty bleak performance yeah they're just trying to pick up something here in the last couple of minutes 901's gonna have to do a good job here of keeping this one out Stanley with a left foot in swinger perfect great ball great goal. into the goal great goal <laughs> What a brilliant header that was. And Akinyode right where he needed to be. Well done. Set piece wise. And there's that lifeline Miami was looking for. Yeah. Perfect centering corner. I mean, right at the edge of the six yard box. It's a and good it's a good header. It's a great header. But it you know, 901 9 will be questioning who's marking him. Yep. Absolutely free header. Yeah, yeah, this yeah that's that's a that's a poor one to give up from a defensive standpoint, but a really nice, perfect. It was a perfect corner, excellent header from Bolu Akinyode, and it's three one. Nine zero one FC with a little speed bump in what has otherwise been a pretty smooth path. Yeah, and Stephen Glass won't be happy with that. You can't switch off with four minutes left and just give a guy an easy heady, a header like Akinyode. I mean, he's he's not going to miss from there, is he? Well, he was it was unmarked, six yards out. That's pretty simple at this level for sure. Jelani Peters takes the throw in, lofts it way up, looking for Pickering. I guess the one thing you might say from 901 FC's perspective, Knight Pickering really hasn't been in the game much. Um, haven't needed him to be necessarily, but but he hasn't been. I suppose that's yeah. If you want to look at one area of maybe a little concern, if you're going to nitpick a bit or night pick in this case. Yeah, I mean, he he's done a lot of work. He's taken a lot of players away by his runs. So, I mean, he is active. Um, he's he's, been, in, he's yeah. been in good positions. Yeah, so, he's been in good know. positions. Yeah. I mean, he's, you know, he's obviously creating space for the wingers or the or the fullbacks, and you know, he's he's causing Bruno Lapa is is getting more chances maybe because of his runs. He's taking away defenders, like you know, the young lad is uh, he is a handful up there with his movement. Ball played in, takes a weird hop over Lapa. It'll be controlled by Miami. First touch, Malloy is able to flick it. Get it back to Graham Smith, to Romig. Well done. Brilliant from confident, the keeper. Confident first-time pass right in the center. That was where he needed to go with it. Now, 901 FC. Now, Inda, are they, are they going to be content to just take this into the, the locker room, or will we see one final push up front? Um, 
they got to keep the ball. They got to keep keep doing what they've been doing. I don't think there's any uh, need to change it up. There's no point bunkering in and and just trying to absorb pressure. They got to get on the football again and keep it moving. And we you know we saw Lauren Kissidou give the ball away there, and that's the stuff we don't want to see. Where Miami may have a, a, a chance to transition. Yeah, giveaways are really costly. No question about that. Buckmaster push down, play on. Malloy <laughs> swings it out to Jelani Peters. On the left side, Peters with those bright orange boots. Plays it up to Jeremy Kelly. Kelly swings it out into plenty of space for Buckmaster. And Buckmaster, first touch to Lapa. Lapa is able to fight and at least force a throw. Just need to keep moving the ball, 901. We'll see side how much uh, stoppage time we have here. Should be a fair bit. Three minutes. I'll predict three minutes stoppage yeah. time. We'll see because of the penalties and everything else. You never get the full amount of stoppage time, especially in the first half. Ball, ooh, great first touch from Kisyadu. Thorne, tenacious, though, stays with it and yes. is able to win that battle. Not easy. To Zendejas, who just lofts it up looking for Kyle Murphy. Murphy at least causing some problems up there. Yep. Now Sorto. Ball is deflected into the arms. Two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> now, mm, close enough. Get, now, how do you get two minutes, uh, yeah. four goals, and the penalties? All that, I, I don't know. That I don't one. know. Somebody's forgot to carry the one, I guess, or something <laughs> here. I don't know. Sure. The first half, you never, you never get all the stoppage time in the first half. You yeah. never do. Looking for a night pickering. But we'll have it at the end of the game. You might. You yeah. might. I don't know. We'll see. Meanwhile, Miami trying to take advantage of these two Great. minutes of Miller Lite stoppage time. Great Go tackle. A goal for Miami would make it awfully interesting oh, for yeah, sure. Yep. That would be the nightmare scenario for 901 FC. Ball played all the way back to Zendejas, though. Zendejas not really pressured now. Knight Pickering puts a little pressure on it, forces that pass to go up. Looking for Stanley. Unable to find him. Borshek goes down. Bit easily went down, but uh, no call from the official. Ball being passed around a bit. Good pressure, and now 901 FC. Through ball and an opportunity. Lapa, great sliding tackle. And there's going to be a foul on Borchak pushing. <laughs> and uh, Akinyode uh, coming back to defend. But Lapa, he had Knight Pickering in a terrific position if he could have just slid yeah. that thing under. He just, he just couldn't get. Done the work to get there and then... Tried to slide it under and... Uh, Paco he, Craig, great tackle. Yeah, Paco Craig did exactly what he had to do in that situation. Zendejas plays it up. Last chance of the first half, if somebody can make it happen. Out wide to Stanley. Stanley crossing it near the box. Vom Stieg, a good header away. Another header. Malloy tapping mm. it, but not getting it fully cleared. And now... There's the referee's whistle. We have played the two minutes. We have played the first 45 minutes, and it has been almost all 901 FC. But for one corner, it has been a complete domination from 901 FC. You want goals? We got plenty of them, four to be exact. Three to 901 FC, none better than that first one. Three to one is your score the break we'll come back with stats highlights and a whole lot more stick around for usl championship action first south has the best rates in town on cds and iras guaranteed in fact if your local bank has a better rate we'll beat it when you open a cd or ira with us you'll also be banking with one of the strongest institutions in the nation now is the time to invest in your future stop by any of our banking centers or visit firstsouth.com to get started and experience how we're leading the way with strength stability and service first south financial banking with friends since 1957. when people ask why bad boy it's simple Every bad boy mower and every bad boy tractor are born from steel and built tough to the same standards that have made the bad boy brand legendary. Not only for toughness, but for power, for strength, for performance, quality, and comfort. These are the whys. You are the how. 
start your legend, bad boy. At Junk Luggers, our commitment to donating and recycling is a founding principle. We're a locally owned business striving to keep all reusable items out of landfills by 2025. While quality customer service, respectful team members, and competitive pricing are all industry standards, we stand out by donating and recycling whenever possible. Consumer investigator Andy Wise here. I'm talking with longtime customers about why they love the shot nurse. What do you love about the shot nurse? Because of my work, I have to get a lot of vaccines for travel, and the shot nurse always has everything I need. And I don't need an appointment. I love it. For efficient wellness and immunization services, the shot nurse is your wise choice. Solutions you need with the personal touch. The shot nurse. All action first half here at AutoZone Park. Memphis 901 FC 3, Miami FC 1. Miami FC getting a consolation goal late and one that Stephen Glass will probably not be too thrilled about off of a set piece, a corner headed in by Bolu Akinyode. But otherwise, it has been all 901 FC in the first half. The score here at AutoZone Park, 3-1, to one, 901 FC. We'll give you some highlights and first half stats when we come back. Bad boy mowers. Born here. Raised here. Tested here. And proven here. With advanced engineering and power. A groundbreaking three-link suspension and personalized settings built for here. The fields, front lawns, and backyards of America. Bad Boy. Mo with an attitude. At Junk Luggers, our commitment to donating and recycling is a founding principle. We're a locally owned business striving to keep all reusable items out of landfills by 2025. While quality customer service, respectful team members, and competitive pricing are all industry standards, we stand out by donating and recycling whenever possible. Consumer investigator Andy Wise here. I'm talking with longtime customers about why they love the shot nurse. What do you love about the shot nurse? Because of my work, I have to get a lot of vaccines for travel, and the shot nurse always has everything I need and I don't need an appointment. I love it. For efficient wellness and immunization services, the shot nurse is your wise choice. Solutions you need with the personal touch. The shot nurse. First South has the best rates in town on CDs and IRAs. Guaranteed. In fact, if your local bank has a better rate, we'll beat it. When you open a CD or IRA with us, you'll also be banking with one of the strongest institutions in the nation. Now is the time to invest in your future. Stop by any of our banking centers or visit firstsouth.com to get started and experience how we're leading the way with strength, stability, and service. First South Financial. Banking with friends since 1957. Welcome back. It is halftime at a steamy AutoZone Park. Memphis 901 FC leading the Miami FC 3-1 after an action-packed first half. Two penalties by 901 FC, a goal of the week contender, and then a goal by Miami. Meanwhile, look around the USL Championship. Some upsets in the U.S. Open Cup. Birmingham continues a terrific run that unfortunately included a win over Memphis 901 FC. They knock off Charlotte, Pittsburgh knocking off Columbus. They advance to the quarterfinals. They will play Inter Miami, the Miami counterpart, and then FC Cincinnati USL. Products in the US Under 20 World Cup. Josh Winder of Louisville and Jonathan Gomez, along with Diego Luna from El Paso, helping the US to advance to the quarterfinals of the U-20 World Cup. Saw it. You see that stunning upset in the U-20 World Cup. Israel beating Brazil 3-2 on a late, late goal in extra time. A wild one there. Then Israel to the semifinals of that. 
Next up for 901 FC, it'll be Louisville arrival on the road next Saturday at 7 o'clock. Looking around the league, speaking of Louisville, no score. Between them and Hartford, that is a final. Pittsburgh with a 1-0 victory over Phoenix, rising late in the match. Tampa Bay and Sacramento, a goal apiece. And early on, it is El Paso and New Mexico United. The Derby del Camino, 0-0 in that matchup. We'll take a look at the standings. In the USL Championship, and the standings have Memphis 901 FC moving on up, continuing to rise. And, of course, as things stand right now, they will continue to move on up. Now, notice that one, that nine in the game's played column. See yeah. who they are in the points, and they have played three or four fewer than everybody else Absolutely. in the conference. So a real opportunity. If you look at uh, what happens, I mean, I don't want to see you win those games in hand, and you're top of the top of the table yep. up there with Charleston, Louisville. It's very, uh, as I mentioned, it's a very open league this year with Charleston at the top, but they've suffered some pretty nasty losses, including Indy down there below Memphis, beating them at home 4-0 yesterday. So... Very tough in the championship to figure out who's going to do what. No one's playing better than Memphis right now. Yeah, Memphis are just clicking at the right time. Plenty of games in hand, and uh, you know they're going to they're going to use those for sure. You look at the halftime stats, and we saw them briefly, but enough to tell you that 64% uh, possession for 901 FC. On top of that, you see the shots. I mean, six to six. Five shots on target, two for Miami, but the XG, the expected goals, almost two XG for Memphis 901 FC. That'll happen when you get two penalty kicks, <laughs> but that's the way that it goes. Total pass is almost double the 901 FC. That matches the possession as well. The passing uh, accuracy has been good. Been a very fluid performance. Again, the only quibble is going to be that goal given up late in the half. Otherwise, a sparkling performance and uh, not at all flattered by the scoreline, 3-1. That does not uh, paint a too flattering picture, I can tell you, right about there. So we continue with our coverage. We'll have some highlights and more when we return with USL Championship Soccer from AutoZone Park in Memphis. South Financial. Whether you're buying your first home or refinancing your current home, we will always find the most efficient home financing solution for your needs. First South Financial is a full-service mortgage lender offering VA, FHA, conventional, jumbo, and adjustable rate mortgage loans. We even offer loans with no points, fees, or closing costs. Let our lending experts help you find the loan that's just right for you. Visit FirstSouth.com today. Bad boy mowers, born here, raised here, tested here, and proven here. With advanced engineering and power, a groundbreaking three-link suspension, and personalized settings built for here, the fields, front lawns, and backyards of America. Bad boy, mow with an attitude. At Junk Luggers, our commitment to donating and recycling is a founding principle. We're a locally owned business striving to keep all reusable items out of landfills by 2025. While quality customer service, respectful team members, and competitive pricing are all industry standards, we stand out by donating and recycling whenever possible. Consumer investigator Andy Wise here. I'm talking with longtime customers about why they love the Shot Nurse. What do you love about the Shot Nurse? Because of my work, I have to get a lot of vaccines for travel, and the Shot Nurse always has everything I need. And I don't need an appointment. I love it. For efficient wellness and immunization services, the Shot Nurse is your wise choice. Solutions you need with the personal touch. The Shot Nurse. Welcome back on a very hot night. A little beverage always hits the spot 
at AutoZone Park, Memphis 901 FC, leading Miami 3-1. to one. Upcoming schedule for 901 FC looks like this. Always a tough trip to Louisville next week. And then three straight at home, Detroit City. Then a quick one uh, midweek against Tulsa. That'll be Philip Goodrum's return to AutoZone Park. And then Ben Pierman's return after that, Charleston. So a lot of interesting matchups. And then bookended by two road games. The final one at Phoenix on July 1st. So a busy month of June for Memphis 901 FC. But a busy half for sure for 901 FC. Uh, coming out with guns a blaze. It didn't take long for 901 FC to really start getting things going. In fact, Inda, this thing was uh, about a minute in when we saw, well, we saw this. Yeah, Jeremy Kelly, what a strike. Goal of the week, goal of the season. I mean, that's just brilliant from uh, from both of them. And then we Nearly saw it again. scored another one just two minutes later. Jeremy Kelly almost had one of the quicker doubles that you'll ever see. Miami every now and then would just remind you that maybe they do have a little something there. Nice save from Drew Romick uh, early on from Christian Sordo and then a deflected shot from Ryan Telfer. But the first of two penalties there, that one on Callum Chapman Page, put into the back of the net from Aaron Malloy. Straight down the middle. Yeah. And then after that, well, here's another one. That one may be a little more contentious, yeah. but a terrific penalty from Bruno Lapa gave him the eyes and went right to the left side. It would have been perfect if the half ended there from 901's perspective, but it didn't. Yeah, I mean, listen, Stephen Glass will be delighted with the offensive side of the game, but I'm sure he'll be annoyed with uh, giving up that goal late in the game as well. Can, and I, can I just tell everybody, too, and uh, if, you'll, if you'll forgive me, uh, by the way, I'm Peter Edmiston, that's Inda Cray and the uh, uh, CBU head coach. Can I tell everybody in the booth, hope you don't mind it, Inda was fuming as a coach. At the, at the, at the, <laughs> he yeah, he set-piece goals, he hates them. Yeah. And you, he was just, like, it was... I can just imagine what Stephen Glass was like because Enda was in here just, just uh, you would you wouldn't you wouldn't think the 901 FC were up three to one based on that. Well, like, I can't yeah, that. It's <laughs> yeah, it was. Well, it's game management, right? You've got yeah, four minutes yeah. on the clock, ball goes out of play. You know that you can tell as well after the goal went in that they were annoyed. So yeah, I mean, I was <laughs> no question. The, the coach and me just uh, went a bit haywire there. Well, that's <laughs> but I, but I like I like for folks to know that because that you are the you are you are a coach. I mean, that's how coaches. That's what coaches. Are. Coaches are always focused on what could go wrong yeah. rather than what's going. It just that's the nature of your job. You have yeah. to look at the the you know what what are the things that could possibly happen at this point. I'm sure Stephen Glass used that as a nice reminder to to his team to say, look, hey, you're up three, you're up three nil, and I up three one. One more goal, yeah. and all of a sudden now <laughs> this match is completely different. So Absolutely. don't get too comfortable out there. No, no, he. I'm sure the message was uh, was delivered. Well. We will see if Miami's got anything as a response. Had a few moments in that first half, but overall it was dominated by Memphis 901 FC. 64% possession for 901 FC, as we mentioned. Sometimes possession doesn't always tell the story, but for this game it absolutely does tell the story. These two teams, and, and you see, on top of the possession – 82% passing accuracy yeah. for 901 FC. Just 65% in that first half for Miami. And again, that ball deflected out. It'll be a quick throw for Miami. Miami attacking the Bluff City Mafia end. Telfer trying a quick little spin. Murphy gets a touch to it. Murphy has not done a whole lot in this game. Has not really been part of things. And Malloy Oofed. in that scrum took a shot to the face. And the official is waving on the training staff as we are quickly underway here. Malloy, it's not the first time he's been down. He's had a little bit of a rough ride yeah. in this matchup today. Yeah, he goes in, puts his body where it probably shouldn't go sometimes, and you're going to get a smack or two when you do that. Well, he's, he's certainly gotten a smack or two. He remains down. Certainly hope he's okay. He's such a vital part of the... 901 FC set up in a terrific part of the attack has, has a goal already and has been spraying his passes around left and right. The amount of space and time he's had, it, it always baffles me into that 
a player like Malloy can be given that much time because he really is he's he's the metronome. You know, he sets the tempo yeah. of that nine on one attack. Yeah, and and I, listen, I don't I don't think he's given the time. I think he earns the time. It's his movement, finding pockets, and he's just so good at it um, and manipulating what he does with the ball as well. It's brilliant. He's very very hard to deal with. Lapa chested down, looking for Malloy, can't quite find him. Miami now with the ball. Both teams unchanged at the break. But I can't imagine it's going to take Miami too long to start looking uh, for a change or two. Jelani Peters has looked good in that left back spot. You mentioned, you know, he's that's not necessarily the spot where you associate him with him. Typically more of a center back, but he's done really well for himself in that position. Ball passed tidily along the touch line to Malloy, who's back and appears to be no worse for wear. Buckmaster oh. cutting in and got the communication wrong with Malloy, and now an opportunity. Sordo trying to get his feet right and just couldn't couldn't quite figure out what he wanted to do with that ball. Now up to Pickering quickly. Pickering. <sighs> He's going to win the book for that. Yeah. <laughs> finished. Went through and went through that tackle. Kind of followed through a little bit. Now we will see, oof, yeah. Oof. Yeah, that was, that's a nasty one for Callum Chapman Page. Now pushing forward, lofting one into the box, Romig without too much difficulty there. Looks like there is a one substitution though. Segbers is into the game for Thorne. We mentioned Curtis Thorne, and now Mark Segber is a player that is known very well, former Memphis 901 FC player. He has entered the game at the half. <sighs> Malloy taking that away, oh. and that's a nasty one, and then that one is going to be a, an overdue card for Akinyode. He got oh. away with one earlier. Red card. Uh oh there's a red. He's out. Just like that, it goes from bad to worse for the Miami FC. Oh, he's – And whatever hope – that he might have had is uh, looking bleaker and bleaker by the moment. Akinyode picks up his second yellow and he is done. I think he's re I think he's caught Malloy really hefty as well on the ankle. We mentioned Malloy is. Oh yeah, he yeah. just yeah. on the right ankle. Yeah, and it's the same thing that got that first yellow card. The same, the first yellow card that he yeah, got was that left-footed yeah. tackle. Like he, he he tackles with his wrong foot. Yeah, I don't think he knows how to tackle. If I'm honest, it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> no, because that's that's not how you do it. And both times he's been in the book, and now he's going to be escorted uh, into the locker room. So tough, tough night for Miami. And now two goals down and one man down. Very difficult to come back from that. Yeah, that's. Four minutes in, Anthony Pulis will be raging at that. Oh, he's You could tell he's just kind of wandering back and forth. Yeah. Trying to figure out what to do here. It's There's not much in the playbook for this as Malloy takes the free kick to Kiss You Do. Kiss You Do back to Malloy. Malloy plays it out. Plenty of time and space. You hear the Bluff City Mafia with a Na 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 na. <laughs> hey hey. <laughs> goodbye. As of course, <laughs> Akinyode walks by them. You'd expect nothing less. And Bruno. he and he should expect nothing nothing less as well. <laughs> no, no. Un unfortunately for him, that is, he's earned every bit of that. Part and parcel of it. Ball played up into some space, sliding tackle, and Paco Craig gets there. Miami. Trying to bounce back. Very tough start to the second half. Segbers with it. First touch of the game is not a good one. Passes it to Malloy. Malloy now with all kinds of space. Plays it up to Laurent Kisyadu. Kisyadu tries to play back in, and that is 
kicked away by Callum Chapman Page. It'll be a throw to 901 FC. Taken quickly, Jelani Peters, Lapa, Jeremy Kelly. Over to Graham Smith, back to Kelly. And Indy, you know, when, when, a, when a team goes a man down, sometimes you do need a moment or two to figure out as the other team how they are going to redeploy everybody. You could see 901 trying to kind of figure out exactly what they're going to do. How are you going to deal with being a man down? And there's a tackle. Yeah. I mean, Anthony Pulis, obviously, he's had his players warming up for a while, so he's probably thinking of getting mm -hmm. guys off on the yellows, and he'll probably be annoyed with that because, you know, it doesn't even give him a chance to get the boys warmed up properly and think of uh, changes. So, um, I mean, now it's just lots of space for 901, and they can keep moving them side to side. You know, that extra man is going to really tell if they can keep the ball moving. It's going to create overloads. It's going to create advantages for 901. Well, and on, on top of that, too, because we mentioned it's a hot, humid night. Yeah. You know, playing a man down, that is really – 30 minutes of that is a workout and then some. And now look at this quick giveaway. Pickering, left foot blocked by Callum Chapman Page. But look at the Malloy. Great Ooh. job deflected and out for a Celtic crossing corner. Malloy – Gets the ball right back and puts it towards the net. And that'll end up being a Celtic crossing corner. Pickering. I think he had a chance to roll it as well to Lapa, maybe, or someone else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he did. Two guys. But, you know, to be fair, he's a striker. That's, ah, you know, yeah, he, had a decent, he had a decent look at it. I can't blame him for that. Malloy. Yeah, he's, he's, he's going to go for that all day. But Malloy already with a goal and an assist. corner great header from board check just wide got everything you wanted there and that's another that's one that you would almost expect someone to be on the far post there to be able to kind of poke that in but board check glancing header was almost perfect yeah it's a great ball again like we've talked about malloy is i mean if you're attacking a ball Aaron malloy is the ball you want to be receiving board check actually great run i mean i almost thought he found the bottom corner on the yeah. far side yeah it was a good header just a little bit wide. Yeah. But the pace on the ball is, you just have to help it on sometimes. Yeah, a little a little glancing yeah, below yeah. is all it takes. Just a wee glance, and I think we, we, we could have seen a, another goal. Well, he didn't miss by much. Just wide, that far post. And now you're seeing the man advantage start to tell, and nobody better yeah. than Malloy to find <laughs> where that space is. Takes it out wide to Buckmaster, and now look again. That's Kelly with it. the ball in all sorts of space. Great ball over the top. Kiss you do tries for the spectacular and well he doesn't get it but there's just too much space in the middle there it's <laughs> it's, it's uh one guy versus two or three all the time yeah, kelly had 15 to 20 yards of space around him absolutely that ball yeah. played up von stieg not a great header out though but an even worse pass from sorto given back to 901 FC. Now to Lapa, and Lapa again looking up with plenty of space and time. Pickering making a diagonal run. Lapa chooses to go back. Malloy playing it out wide to Peters. Peters a little further forward than you might expect to see him. Malloy to Kelly. Back to Smith. 901 FC in no rush. Kelly, very little pressure. Malloy getting a little bit forward. Back to Lapa, all the way back to Vom Stieg. Putting together 15, 20 passes in a row. And finally, ball is given away. Poor touch from Laurent Kissiadu. That is a cross that goes way out of play by Stanley, and it will be a goal kick. We are informed by our director, Mark King, and our great statistical staff back there that that was the, the first goal of the match, that uh, beautiful Jeremy Kelly volley was the fastest goal in the USL championship this season, Enda. Yeah, I mean, 
I mean, I'm not, I'm not surprised. I mean, it was, I mean, it was a minute just in, and a not, minute in. I mean, yeah. maybe slightly less than a minute in. Yeah. Ben was, Mines, by the way, coming in for a Christian Sorto. Sorto is uh, came in, 23 year old from El Salvador, came in having not started in the last couple games. Did it okay for himself, but trying to get a little something happening here as well. Then Gabriel de Freitas is also checking into the match for Miami FC. And again, he comes in for Dennis Dawuna. Not surprising to see some subs for Miami. They're going to need some fresh legs Oof. in addition to some fresh ideas. Yeah. Down a man and down two goals. And 901 FC with some tidy play to get the ball under control. Now to Malloy. Malloy again. You know, he's the, I called him the maestro in the middle. I mean, it's, it's what he does. It's a position that is hard to find in the USL Championship. It's hard to find a player who's able to control the match the way he can. Like, he just, what a signing he has been from the USL League One forward Madison last year, and he's just come in and immediately made such an impact on this team. Yeah, he just, he makes it all tick. Great ball to Borchek. Borchek cuts it back. Now to Malloy. Thought he might have a crack at it. Instead, now to Lapa. Lapa turns around again, all kinds of space and time. Borchek, that is going to be deflected out for another Celtic crossing corner for 901 FC. And again, I'm, I'm letting Lapa was surprised. He was able to turn in the box, and no one was saying, <laughs> well, My goodness, really? Yeah. I, yeah. You know, I'm actually shocked that. Um, I'm actually shocked Miami haven't dropped someone in to help in the middle of the park because they're getting overran. And here is a fun moment for 901 FC, the debut of Rodrigo da Costa, acquired in a trade with Tulsa, involving Philip Goodrum going the other way. Rodrigo da Costa, the 29-year-old, who is third in chances created, somebody who is constantly able to be part of the action, comes in and immediately is thrust right into the middle of a corner. DaCosta acquired from Tulsa. Philip Goodrum going the other way. So it's a big time heavy hitter trade. And there you see first touch out of the way. DaCosta and his fellow Brazilian Bruno Lapa. If you're Miami, that's not what you want to see coming off the bench from 901. No, 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 not at all. Not at all. But a great opportunity to kind of bet in. You really don't get yeah. a better chance to come in in a you know fairly minimal pressure situation. Yeah, it's, now, a, it's an open game for an attacking player like Da Costa. You know, there's, for sure. there's a man down, lots of space, so... And again, you know, Da Costa, you're talking about a guy that is a such a veteran. A, a pressure yeah. won't really phase him, but it's nice when you get to make your debut in a in a very advantageous kind of situation like this. Absolutely. Buckmaster chipping it up for <laughs> Lapa. And Da Costa. A like for like sub with Kisidu playing out there on the left side. And Kisidu had plenty of space, so I would imagine that Da Costa will as well, especially with a man down. High into the air, headed away by Vom Stieg. But only as far as Gabriel de Freitas, who's now going to spray it out wide. First touch by Mark Segbers was a good one in that situation. Nice interchange. Vom Stieg, quick to react, boots that thing out of play. Throw into Miami, taken quickly. Crowd here has been entertained by goals, no question about it. Buckmaster gets a foot to it, but it will bounce out of play. It'll be a throw into Miami deep in the Memphis final third. 901 FC, by the way, all the way up to 85% passing accuracy as a team. That is an impressive number. Yeah, it's a high number, isn't it? Going to be a long throw here taken by Moises Hernandez. A little danger, and that ball is 
finally cleared out. That's something that Anthony Poulos' dad, Tony Poulos, will know all about, the long <laughs> throw, a, yeah. a Stoke s trademark. It's a weapon. <laughs> it is. A, hey, it's, it, it, there's a reason why it is a trademark. See that all the time. You know when the player takes the ball and it really puts it in the shirt and really dries that baby off, you know it's, you know it's <laughs> yeah. coming. Miami seeing a little more possession here as 901 FC happy to let them have it in those positions, but not these positions here. Telfer with a nice run. He is onside looking to get that left foot. Ball is chipped, deflected by Peters, but it's still going to stay with Miami. DeFreitas plays it over to Stanley. Dangerous cross. Stanley finds some space again, gets it in. That is going to be kind of <laughs> kicked away from Reese Buckmaster. Improvised clearance. Did just enough, but not quite getting it out of play. Good cross in. And that clearance from Bob Stieg. Ooh. It's a difficult one, though. It was. It took a weird hop off that yeah, turf. Yeah. And really difficult. Vom Stieg was able to just get rid of it, but it's going to be a corner for Miami. This is, of course, where Miami scored their only goal of the match late in the first half. little spell of possession for Miami here. It'll be Stanley with the left foot out swinger. Into the box, and again, that ball is allowed to drop. Dangerous. Telfer gets ahead to it. Finally headed away by Graham Smith under the foot of Bruno Lapa. Lapa immediately pressured by two Miami players and driven all the way back and finally draws that foul. That's what he was looking for. He's, yeah, That's he, a veteran move from Lapa. Not, not a lot of people would have the confidence to do that. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's done really well, 2v1 there. I mean, you could tell what they both wanted, right? You know, he was trying to hold it. They were trying to win it off him, and he was just cat and mouse. Who was going to give in? Well, you, you have to have a lot of confidence to go 2v1 in that uh, situation and and then just to be savvy enough to yeah, to get that get that free. That's a very smart way to relieve that pressure. He's been around. You can <laughs> tell he's been around He knows what he's doing. That's exactly. It's not his first match. A lot of good veteran presence here for 901 FC. Romick takes that kick and a slide. Yeah, it was a good sliding tackle as well. Knight, Knight's on a yellow as well, I think. Yeah, yeah, he mm, is. Easy, yeah, easy, son, easy. Easy, and there he comes again, flying in. Ball is headed up. First touch there, Malloy. Back to Smith. Smith, a little bit of a wayward pass. I think he's going to get away with it, though, to Buckmaster. Buckmaster playing up. Headed on from Malloy, kind of didn't quite know where that ball was going. And there's Jelani Peters. He's going to go in the book on that one. And this is an issue now because we have a lot of lot of 901 guys on cards as well. So they're going to yeah. have to be careful so yeah. she doesn't want to e even the game up, you know. Well, Jelani McCoy is there. That's uh, or uh, Jelani Peters, rather. Yeah. He is the um, fourth 901 FC player in the book. Yeah, yeah. Out there right now. Buckmaster, <laughs> Malloy, Pickering, and uh, now Jelani Peters all with yellow cards. 65th minute, free kick, a little far out for a direct strike. But still a dangerous position. Yeah, and he has a good delivery, Stanley. He does. See Telfer standing out wide. Good ball cut in, and the header is just enough. You saw it was... Callum Chapman Page for Miami, who was in that mix. But you saw a deflection there and goes into the arms of Drew Romig. From Miami's perspective, they are, of course, down a man because Bolu Akinyode got his second yellow card. And now here's Rodrigo da Costa onside. Da Costa, good left footed cross, just a little too high. You could see what he was trying to do there. Knight Pickering waiting for it. Now good sliding header away from Vom Stieg. Lapa under control. Getting things slowed down a bit for 901 FC. Miami seeing a little more of the ball over the last 10 minutes or so. And 
the veteran presence, 901 FC kind of slowing things down, reclaiming the momentum just a bit. Yeah, just need to keep moving them side to side. Gaps will come in the middle, and Lapa and Kelly will be able to hopefully receive the ball uh, between the lines and, and, and go at them. And you can see uh, readying the subs, Rashawn Dolly, Lucas Turchi are going to be subbed in at the next available opportunity for 901 FC. I would imagine some of that's going to have to do with those yellow cards. We shall see. Yeah. Lapa now plenty of space. Plays the ball ahead of Dylan Borchek. Borchek plays it back to Buckmaster. Now Malloy thought about it. Plays it up to Pickering. Or no, to DaCosta. DaCosta Pickering. Pickering out to Lapa. Ball is tried to settle it, couldn't quite get that foot in, and it will eventually go to Zendejas without too much difficulty. But nice little move, maybe almost a touch too unselfish. Yeah, we saw a little Pickering. bit of yeah, we saw Pickering and DeCosta linking up, and it's good to see. But ball sprayed around the back. Chapman Page looking for that run yeah, into the channel. It's going they've, nowhere. They've looked for that all night. That one way too far. And this is going to give 901 FC the opportunity. We will see Bruno Lapa. He is not on a yellow card, which is interesting, but he will be taken off. Borchak also comes off, not on a yellow card. So none of the yellow card players are subbed out by Steven Glass. It'll be Dylan Borchak. And Dylan Borsak and Bruno Lapa both out. Into the game will be Lucas Turchi and Rashawn Daly for 901 FC. So those yellow cards not factoring into it, at least not at this point. Turchi with a lovely first touch. He's got good feet for the love, big man. Love, love the big player that has the good feet. That's always fun to see. Yeah, yeah. He certainly is that for sure. Such a classy player. Picks up a foul, though, early on. Chapman Page wants to take it quickly. In Miami, just looking for a little glimmer here. Ball played through and then played up kind of aimlessly. Romick will be perfectly happy with that. He'll take a 20 minutes of those all night, no problem. Yeah, he's, he's happy enough with that. For sure. Now 901 FC building from the back. Malloy, good ball. Played out to Rashawn Daly. Daly's first touch. Plays it to Turchi. Turchi thinks about it. One, two, great chest. Oh. And oh, couldn't finish it. What a goal that would have been. Da Costa, what an involvement. Beautiful one, two. Da Costa to Turchi, who chested it but just couldn't find the finish. That would have been some goal to start your yeah. <laughs> career after Da Costa. What an assist that would have been. One, two, bit of Portuguese, and we almost had an absolute cracker. <laughs> what a terrific. Now yeah, watch this brilliant. again. You see here, Turchi. Turchi and him just combined lovely. Look at that one Look touch. At that ball. Boom, chest, and then right down and oh. Yeah, he's got a lovely left foot. Doesn't need to cost that. He does. That. Look at that. Just chest. And Turchi then, will be unhappy with the ooh. finish, but what? Again, when the ball goes near the man, he, he's created a bit of magic so far. Repetto coming into the game. Replacing Kyle Murphy, who has struggled, did not do much. Yeah, was a uh, uneventful return to AutoZone Park for Kyle Murphy, to say the least. And Telfer, I think, as well, has come off. Has he? Telfer but is uh, is off the pitch. Yes. Yeah. I Malloy, thought he was their bright spark for them as well. He Pete. was. May have run himself into the ground just a bit. Jeremy Kelly, though, to Rodrigo da Costa on his fresh legs, making his debut. He and Knight Pickering both like the short socks. <laughs> yeah. So they've already got that in common. Malloy, some nice one touch stuff. He and Turchi. Peters to da Costa. Back to Peters. Oof, they're coming. Yeah, they're pressing. There's the press. They do force 
a bit of an errant yeah, and pass. Graham Smith is saying, I think, sorry with the, that's yep. where the, the dodgy turf is, so. Yep. Drew did really well, actually, to get that out of play. Throw in for Miami. Callum Chapman Page. Plays it back to Zendejas. And Zendejas plays it to Stephen Glass, <laughs> who is not currently playing. And again, 72nd minute, Knight Pickering still still full of running, pressing, chasing. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> well, when you're 18, you know, that does help. Oh, uh, yeah. It does. <laughs> we'll yeah, say. Yeah, I've yeah. forgotten what that's like, but. Yeah, he's. A little teased ball in from Turchi, slightly over the head of Rashawn Dolly. You know, there's a there's quite a bit of skill in this 901 FC yeah, lineup is. now. You see with the Costa, Turchi. Malloy, a lot of players, Jeremy Kelly, can pick a pass. Yeah, they have a lot of weapons, as they say. You know, they've got the passer in Malloy. They've, Kelly can pick it up and dribble as well. And DaCosta now is, just adds a little bit more, you know, oomph in the final third with his one-touch passing and, and movement as well. So and There's Pickering playing it up to DaCosta. DaCosta with plenty of time and space. Wants to play it back, though. He's not going to beat you with pace, I'll say that. He's... more yeah. of a thoughtful player but he's very very good yeah he's very crafty feet. very crafty very smart player incredibly skilled yeah he's not rapid fast but his brain and his he's not he's not slow but well we know it's not about pure pace you know you can't nah, just put a, yeah, put a track team out there it doesn't work like that and there's pickering <sighs> oh nearly a good two-touch combo from kelly Goes just out of play, but Pickering again dropping all the way back to receive the ball. Still very, very willing to run yeah, and do the hard work. He's gone out left now to, to fill in for Rodrigo. See, it's an interesting little swat, a little swap here from Stephen Glass to play DaCosta up front and to play Pickering out wide. Just to kind of see how that looks. You get a chance to. Yeah. Kind of check out some different things. Yeah, for Von sure. Von Stieg has taken a knock. He is down. It's been a uh, – I think I think the official has done a nice job. There's been a little bit of ill temper in the game, Not nothing crazy, but we've seen a few nasty tackles. Yeah, Miami nope. coming off a game last yeah. week against Orange County that was <laughs> rather more nasty. <laughs> yeah. Number seven, Claudio Repetto there was yeah. not happy with the stoppage. No, Repetto, Repetto is uh, certainly unhappy, but he's just he's just arrived. Yeah, he's, full, there, he's so. full of energy, wants to get going. Now you see, quick giveaway. Salazar into the game. You mentioned that Telfer's off. Salazar is in for Telfer. Confident two touches from Zendejas there. But then he just lofts it up to Graham Smith. Smith, though, yeah, the header goes right to Stanley. Smith will take that all night. Easy. Stanley with a throw in. You see, 901 FC is taking, I won't say taking the foot off the gas completely, but the intensity levels drop just a little bit. Yeah. Not surprisingly, when you've got you're down when you're facing an opponent who's down a man. Got to be very careful here, though. Miami gets a goal, and the complexion of the match changes absolutely quite a bit. And Miami's putting some passing moves together. Cross into the box, dealt with well from Smith. Header on by DaCosta nicely into the path. Now the path of Knight Pickering. He's onside. A chip oh, over the top of the keeper. What a what goal! A goal. Knight Pickering, that's a spectacular chip. The young man has ran himself into the ground and it's nothing more than he deserves. What, Absolutely fantastic. What a fabulous move on a quick counter attack. Played out in front of Knight Pickering and that left footed chip caught Zendejas 
way off his line, but still an awful lot of work to do from about 20 yards off. Look at DaCosta and then Turchi here with a beautiful ball outside of the left foot into the path of Knight Pickering, who chips it from a good 25 yards out over the defender, <laughs> over the keeper, into the net. What a brilliant strike that is. That, I tell you what, that is a difficult finish as well. That is a really difficult finish. And the young man's just made it look easy. Fantastic. I mean, he was a, an 18-year-old signed last year with such promise yeah, in the, the United States. National team setup certainly is in the mix there. Yeah, he is, And yeah. you see, you can understand why with finishes like that. And we mentioned the hard work that he's put in throughout the match. So he's done a lot of hard work on top of everything else. Yeah. He, what a smooth finish that was. Smooth finish. There we see DaCosta and Torchy linking up again. Fantastic ball by Torchy as well, by the way. I mean, it is a great finish, but that for a big man, Torchy has fantastic vision as well. We yeah. have to mention that. The well, boy, the boy has vision. started it. To, yeah. you know, the, the new boy, DaCosta, started it with a beautiful little flick to Turchi. What a great finish. 4-1 is the score. That puts yeah, the outcome <clears throat> completely to bed now. Now it's a matter of how many. And remember, that goal difference can make a difference. Yeah, so, absolutely. Uh, you know, you, 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 you got to do what you got to do. There's that run down the side from Rashawn Daly. Does a good job holding off the opposition to get the ball. Back to Buckmaster. One touch to Turchi. Turchi eases it up to Peters. and <sighs> The big man just. <laughs> I think Turchi is used to maybe someone else yeah, playing, yeah. <laughs> running onto that. Peters wasn't quite capable of doing it. That chip, that chip finish. Boy, I just cannot get over that. was a yeah, wonderful brilliant. finish from Knight Pickering. Shades of a former teammate of Stephen Glass at Newcastle United, Philippe Albert for the Oof. fifth goal against Manchester United yeah. back in uh, 1996. I remember watching it. One of the great goals you'll ever see. I rem I also wanted to forget it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry I had to bring that up for yeah, you. Yeah, Philly Albert though was a brilliant player, a so brilliant player. Worth, worth mentioning. And it, it was very reminiscent. I mean, you don't you don't see too many no, chips no. like that outside the box. Yeah, and just that was brilliant. Two two those two goals the, the the first and fourth goals have been yeah, top fun. top drawer. Superb. Ball now taken away, and uh, there is a. <gasps> That's uh, got to be careful yeah. for Jelani Peters because that's going to be his second yellow card. Yeah. That was foolishness from Jelani Peters. That's going to be a red card. It's going to be 10 on 10. And that's the worry. There was no reason for that whatsoever. I, I, I don't know why he felt the need to drag him down from behind. I don't know if he forgot he was on a yellow card or what, but this is this is going to be a yellow all day long. When you do something like this. I, I think he might have actually stepped in him by accident as well from well, looking from the, that. Well, but the hand that yeah, comes yeah. up, you know, you can't. No chance she's not given yeah. that, though, on, yeah. a, on a yellow. Yeah. And so so now we have a 10, 10 v. 10. Yeah, it's a loss, though, for the next game against Louisville. It and that's, is. It is. It's, that's what I was kind of worried about is, like, hold your head. 10 minutes, 4-1, no need to make a challenge. and. Well, it's, it, it's a li it is a little bit surprising that, you know, we didn't see – some of those players subbed off with the card, but you know, you Yeah. Hindsight's twenty twenty. Hindsight's twenty twenty. But you also expect them to know that they're on the yellow and, yeah. and to be yeah. to be cautious in it. Yeah, there was no reason for that. Stanley to take the free kick for Miami, dealt with easily. Malloy heads it away. Back to Stanley. He's gonna try another crack at it. Instead <laughs> instead goes to Segbers. Segbers sliding it forward. Both teams, a man down, headed away by Turchi, but not too far. And there's DaCosta with a tackle, and that's a clean tackle, although Mines goes down very dramatically. Looked like a clean tackle to me. Looked like Corner it, yeah, Corner is the angle. call from the official. Mines went down with a lot of drama, and he's back up quickly. Yeah, there's. Ooh. It's hard to tell from that angle. Yeah. I think he got the ball, though. Either way, Mines is up, and it is a corner for Miami FC. And that corner, oh. oof, 
very close to making it four to two as it was Paco Craig on that late run, headed it just wide. Romig, nothing he could have done about that one. Fortunate not to be down again and another set piece problem yeah. for 901 FC. If there's one thing that Stephen Glass is going to take a look at, it's that. And you see right there, Romig, unfortunately, kind of came out and couldn't decide what he wanted to do. That's one where you got to stay back. Yeah. If you're going to come out for that one, you better get it because you're going to be in trouble. Yeah, and cred credit to Miami tonight. The deliveries into the box that they've put in, you know, has been really of a high standard. Um, you know, and it has caused trouble, and we did see their goal from that. So, um, you know, Memphis is going to have to clean it up here now and, and ride it out for the last nine or ten minutes. And we can't see any more cards, and I'm sure Stephen Glass will be reiterating this. Just manage the game. Yeah, yeah, manage the game. And you see uh, Rashawn Dolly's hands go up as Aiden Stanley dribbled out of play. Throw into Memphis 901 yeah, FC and Akeem Ward yeah. coming in for a night pickering. And he's on a yellow, so that's smart. And he's already gotten yeah, you know, he's, a he's done the work. fabulous goal. Got his goal. And what a goal it was for night pickering. So Akeem Ward coming in. And now consolidating just a little bit from Stephen Glass. But really good outing again from uh, night pickering. Yeah. Three goals, two assists on the season already for, for Pickering. And, uh, you know, again, it's his emergence really allowed 901 FC to be able to explore trading Philip Goodrum. You know, when, uh, yeah. when you see Pickering come in and, you know, things go as well or maybe even better, you think, well, you know, maybe we can, maybe we can make this move. And uh, sure enough, that's exactly what has happened. Yeah, the boy's, the boy's talented. Like, he's, you're not going to be in the U.S. under-18s or 19s national teams if you aren't talented. Yeah. And, and he show, he's shown it. Last season, he, he obviously didn't play as much. With I mean, Philip Goodrum was on fire as well last season, but a little bit of run of form here now for the young fella is, is brilliant to see. 10 on 10 out there. So a lot of space for both teams. This is a... A lot more running that has to be done for everybody out there on a hot night. And we're getting into the 83rd minute, 84th minute now, so there's some tired legs out there to be sure. Yeah, they'll be Jeremy tired. Kelly taking that ball in the middle of the park. Now, again, look at all the running that 901 FC is making Miami do. That is the goal of all of this passing. Yeah, switching side to side, movement. Break it, breaking lines and just keep them, just pinning them back, pinning just them back. Making making them move, and eventually you, you open up opportunities. Yeah. Make mistakes. You keep going side to side. It's it's demoralizing yeah. for an opponent <laughs> to have to yeah. just keep running. It's just no fun at all. Yeah, especially being three goals down as well. It's Yeah. This is not – it's a fun game, but not, not, not at this moment for, for no. Miami. Not right now. Turchie. And that was a interesting ball from Ward. Ends up pinging it off the Miami player. Now into a dangerous area. Great cross. And that could have been their second. Miami really, really dangerous cross by Mines. And Salazar could not finish. But Akeem Ward got himself into trouble there, trying to play a little bit of a fancy ball and was out of position. And yeah. Salazar was able to, or Mines was able to get a nice cross in. Salazar just couldn't reach it. Yeah, 901 have to be careful here. I mean, they're going side to side, but they still have to, they can't lose the ball and, and cause these little transitions and, and, and uh, areas of worry for themselves. That's a terrific job by Dolly to receive that ball and to hang on to it and to work his way into the corner here. Dolly looking for an outlet, still with it. Good pass across the top of the box. Ball slotted in from Ward, looking for DaCosta. Radar a little off on that pass. Yeah. Good work from Dolly, though, as he was the target man, was able to turn, go all the way into the corner and create an opportunity. That's good work from yeah. the substitute. He's fresh, full of running, Rashawn Dolly. Little head tennis here, and finally, ball goes to Malloy. Malloy keeps it in play. Oh, the nutmeg. Oh. Right through Chapman Page to Turchi. Big man now on the run. Left foot slings it in. And DaCosta on the rebound. The ball is 
deflected away for a Celtic crossing corner. Turchi turned the Jets on. <laughs> That's and, a big man running at you. And he, he got a nice connection. Take a look at the, uh, the, the nutmeg that's coming here. Turchi, beautiful little flick. And then look at Malloy, whoop, right through. The, and then to Turchi, who again cranks it up. Yeah. Boom, got a good shot to it. And then the Costa Hernandez with a last ditch tackle to get it away. Da Costa was looking at his first 901 yeah. FC goal right there. He was poaching. Malloy with the Celtic crossing corner. That is going to be headed up. Not out of play, though. Dolly will escort that ball over the touchline for the throw. Nearing the 88th minute of play, 4 1. Memphis 901 FC dominating Miami FC on this Saturday evening. Peter Edmiston into Cram with you. Thanks so much for being with us this evening. Some great goals have been yeah. scored. Check the highlights. I will tell you, stick around after the match. Those highlights, you're going to want to see them. Nice passing. Ward into a ton of space. Turchi. So much space. Puts it over and Dolly. This is enough space for me and you to make some passes, <laughs> I think. And, uh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, no one's playing space <laughs> out there. But, again, that's what happens when you're dealing both teams down a man, 10 out, 10 players for each. So, and on top of that, Miami, three goals down. That will create these sorts of situations where you see plenty of space out there for 901 FC. The Olay is ringing out as the passes have come in. Great move. Now an opportunity. Hakeem Ward in a mile of space. Left foot slides it into the back wow. of the net. What Fantastic. a goal. 5 1. 901 FC. Hakeem Ward. What a left footed finish that was. After a great move, eased it on down the pitch. And then Ward with a confident finish, left footed. Passes in Dejas for the fifth goal of the evening. Yeah, it's just, again, just so patient on the ball, moving them side to side. Great little pass. Hakeem Ward steadies himself, and a lovely finish in the corner, actually. Brilliant. Yeah, terrific finish. Buckmaster, Buckmaster with a great ball. through ball. Takes a touch, looks up. It's a difficult then, finish, too, from that tight angle. Yeah, he was absolutely spot on with that, and it's 5-1 now. 901 FC. And again, no less than their play deserves. And I tell you what, who was who was waiting for a cross was DaCosta. He's he's uh, <laughs> he was hoping it was gonna be rolled to him. Well, it's hard to it's hard to critique too much when you see a finish ah, yeah, like was, Wards. He's he's hunting for that goal though. And now 901 FC, I think, very, very happy to just ping the ball around a bit. Be curious to see. I imagine we won't see too much stoppage time from a mercy standpoint. Yeah, I would think not. But Miller Light stoppage time. The board is about to go up, Ooh. and there is a foul there. And again, here comes a free kick. A little bit of a dangerous position here. The set pieces have been the biggest issue. Three yeah. minutes, by the way, for those of you wanting to know. Three minutes of Miller Lite stoppage time. Yeah, three Stanley. Minutes. Stanley's been, uh, you know, Malloy's obviously quality. We know that. But Stanley's been equally as good on the dead ball tonight and really causes uh, 901 a lot of trouble, actually. Will it be the right footer? Or will it be Stanley again, the left footer? Looks like it's going to be Stanley. Chips it in. Again, another dangerous ball. Played back in a whiff from Callum Chapman Page. And then a deflected shot that came in from Gabriel De Freitas. Drew Romig is able to smother it. Another dangerous ball that came in. And Chapman Page just whiffed it. Great opportunity from about 15 yards out. Yeah, it's... Whoop. And that one was the deflected shot, and Romick did a good job there because it kind of came off Malloy's foot, made it a little difficult to deal with. 
Yeah, it came through the crowd. Malloy plays it quickly up, looking for Rodrigo da Costa. That would be the capper to the evening if you can get da Costa. <laughs> get da Costa on the scoreboard. His first goal. Over but and out. I think uh, Stephen Glass will take this. Yeah. It's been a good performance. One or two things, I'm sure. Nothing's ever perfect, so. Well, but. that the, the 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 encouraging thing or the scary thing is that, you know, there were a, a couple things. The goal that was given up is one that's going to eat at Stephen Glass. Yep. The, the the red card to Jelani Peters, kind of an unnecessary second yellow. That's going to eat away. So when you can win a match five one and still have some things like that, that, yeah, that yeah. tells you you got a good team. Yeah, when, no. when that happens, you got a real good team. No, they've been fantastic tonight. The the little break has really helped them. You can see they've all come back uh, refreshed and. You know, they've absolutely blown Miami out of the water tonight. Ball chested down. DaCosta. Quick throw. Nah. <laughs> no one else is. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, in, he's excited. He wants to try to get that goal. Everyone else is like, eh, we're good. I think we got it under control here. DaCosta has looked good, though. Yeah, he's been good on the ball when he As got it. As you would expect. Yeah. And it's going to be tough for him because... You know, with a, with a side that's playing as well as this 901 FC side is, it's, you know, he, you can't just come in and start. You know, earn. You got to earn earn a spot. It's it's hard to jump in and earn a spot from, you know, that starting eleven when you yeah. you come off a five one victory. <laughs> it's pretty harsh on somebody to to sub them out and take them out of the starting eleven. No, it is. But hey, he's he's been here before. He, he knows what he's doing, and he's gonna. He's, he adds a lot a lot of quality to Memphis 901 already that they have, and you know. What a, what an option to bring off the bench, even. Oh, I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, truly fabulous. Yeah, yeah. And he and I think he, you know certainly eventually he's going to find his way into the starting lineup. But you can see you know, it yeah. as a coach. You know, you you want to reward the guys that have gotten you. This is four straight league wins now yep. for 901 FC. This is eight straight in the league unbeaten. Yep. It you can't really change. The, it's hard to no, change too no, much no. about the starting eleven unless you're forced to because of injury and and everything else. Yeah. There's the final whistle. And what Brilliant. a performance from 901 FC. Two penalties and three fantastic goals. Kind of had their own personal goal of the week competition <laughs> from 901 FC. It was a terrific night in the Bluff City. Final score of this one Memphis 901 FC 5. Miami FC won. spirit, revolutionary thinking, breaking a few rules, and doing it all for the right reasons. American-made bad boy mowers. Mow with an attitude. First South has the best rates in town on CDs and IRAs. Guaranteed. In fact, if your local bank has a better rate, we'll beat it. When you open a CD or IRA with us, you'll also be banking with one of the strongest institutions in the nation. Now is the time to invest in your future. Stop by any of our banking centers or visit firstsouth.com to get started and experience how we're leading the way with strength, stability, and service. First South Financial. Banking with friends since 1957. At Junk Luggers, our commitment to donating and recycling is a founding principle. We're a locally owned business striving to keep all reusable items out of landfills by 2025. While quality customer service, respectful team members, and competitive pricing are all industry standards, we stand out by donating and recycling whenever possible. Welcome back. It's all over. 5-1. What a night 
for Memphis 901 FC. And you see Aaron Malloy having a conversation. I don't know how know how good that conversation is going to be from the Miami point of view, but it was a terrific performance from Memphis 901 FC. Let's look at the final stats, and they do tell the story here. Two to one in terms of possession, 14 shots, eight shots on target is a massive number. 2.5 XG for Memphis 901 FC, doubling up in terms of passes, pass accuracy into the 85% mark. I mean, Enda, this was top to bottom of thrashing. Yeah, they just, I mean, Miami just didn't have any answer for the intensity that, uh, you know, Memphis came out with tonight and uh, the creativity of the players and the final third was just fantastic for Memphis. I mean, they'll be, the management will be super happy with that tonight. Yes, indeed. And uh, it is a, it's a heavy scoreline, but it's one that is fully deserved based on the performances that we saw. We mentioned the quality of the goals was absolutely top notch from this team it was uh it was a team effort for sure but this was a situation where frankly miami from the very beginning just second best 901 fc jumped on them within the first minute scoring the fastest goal in the usl championship this year and then keeping that pressure on 5-1 is not flattering at all in terms of the performance and what we saw from this group. Next up for 901 FC, it'll be a trip to Louisville to take on Lou City. Then three straight home matches after that. Four consecutive league wins for 901 FC, eight unbeaten. It's a terrific run, highlighted by some terrific goals. The highlights of this one are spectacular. For Enda Crayon, Mark, and all of our crew, I'm Peter Edmiston. Have a great weekend. This copyrighted telecast of the United Soccer League Championship cannot be retransmitted, rebroadcast, or reproduced without the expressed written consent of the United Soccer League Championship.